Welcome to Chi Life. And today's webinar, we have something very exciting. We have our special guest, Dr. Jane. Uh, she is uh, very well versed and she has a lot of experience in many areas. She uh, has uh, several degrees. She ha is a doctorate in many different things. I don't even remember, there's so many. <laughs> she's been, she's a clinical psychologist and she's been helping thousands of people over the many decades with their mental health and with issues with addiction, all sorts of kinds of different um, psychological issues, uh, bipolar disorders, everything under the sun that has to do with the mind. She has been uh, helpful with lots of people. And what makes her unique is that she does it in a way that nobody else, no other psychologists are doing. And she's getting some incredible results because of that. She reached out to me and she wanted to do some kind of collaboration because we found that we have a lot that we can help each other with. Dr. Jane, how are you today? Hi, I'm fine. Thank you. Nice to meet you finally. Yeah. So just tell us a little bit more about yourself. I hope I did a so-so introduction. Maybe you can do, you can tell us more in detail about what you do. I can tell you about my degrees, my educational background. I have three degrees in English and American literature, bachelor's in English and teaching education, a master's in English literature, a PhD in American literature, a master's of fine arts in, in cinema and multimedia. I'm also a, fil a documentary filmmaker. I have a master's in clinical social work with a license as well. I have a doctorate in clinical psychology and I'm getting, I'm soon to get my doctorate PhD in clinical sexology. And I have many certifications in addictions, hypnotherapy, EMDR, couples specialist. I'm a functional nutritional medicine consultant and I do understand how what you put into your body can hurt you and what you should be putting into your body. And, and basically, I don't know what else. I have so many certifications. So what made you get started in this, in this path of healing and in this path of helping others? What made you start this journey? I talk therapy. Is a total waste of time. It, it generates a lot of income for a therapist, but it doesn't do anything. Why? Because if you go to a, a, doc, a, a therapist, a clinician with historical trauma, and what are you going to do when you get to the therapist? You're going to talk about the, the trauma and what happens. You leave there more depressed than when you went in there. Why? Because you're wiring more trauma by talking about it into your brain. So after my doctor of clinical psychology degree with a strong emphasis on the brain, I studied a lot about trauma. I realized and that there has to be another way because that just doesn't work. You have to get into not the other problem is that when you do talk therapy, you're talking from neocortex to neocortex, which is what I'm doing with you right now, David. We, it's just the conscious mind. What you have to do is to access the limbic system of the brain, which is the emotional brain, which is the unconscious. And that's how you can make changes. And then I realized that from studying quantum physics, that everything is energy. It's all energy. As a child, I was able to heal with my hands. So I knew it instinctively that we're energy. And then I realized that frequencies are so important. And I tell my patients, Look, your mother beat the hell out of you all the time, and you're going to talk to her every day. I said, what you're doing is you're getting more of that bad frequency. You're not going to heal in any way. 
So this is how I built it into my system, into my clinical system. And then I added the part about changing what you put into your body because what you put into your body, I mean, your medicine cabinet is in your kitchen. And what you put into your body translates also in mental and physical health or the lack of it. Yes. So you've, uh, from what I've um, learned about you, you've helped a lot of people with many different things. So if you're listening right now on this webinar, on this live, um, this is very, this is what can be very important for you. It could be life changing because she's helped lots of people with everything from um, trauma, generational trauma with uh, people who have been widowed, who have retirement blues, relationship problems, LGBT issues, uh, domestic violence, fear of the future, anxiety, any kind of addiction, problems with your children, depression, being sick and tired, having your mind slipping, sex problems. She has the education, know-how, and the experience to help you or anybody that you know with any of these problems. And she's saying right now that she has a way that is revolutionary, but it's not really revolutionary because it's been around since the beginning of time. And right. she's, she's saying that what most psychologists are doing isn't working because they're just helping or making their clients reinforce those negative frequencies, is that right? Correct. What, what, what needs to change? What needs to change, Dr. Jane? What needs to change in the therapeutic process? Yeah. What we're doing, I think, which is very futuristic, which is to combine, that's why it's we're calling it holistic, to combine the mind, which is how you, the practice is called mind-body therapeutics. It's called that because we teach you how to think about what you think about. If you, when you wake up in the morning, for example, you have this chatter going on and you're just, your, your uh, neural networking is bringing up the past from your sleep and you are just there in the past. So we stop you from thinking about what you think about and put you on a path that raises your frequency which generally, and I tell my patients, here's the cheat sheet, I tell them. You have to feel gratitude, love, compassion, and joy. And that, if you really feel it from the heart, you raise your frequency. And it's not because the outside world does it for you. It's because you do it yourself. So you have to put it out there into the app, into the universe so that it comes back to you. So whatever you put out there is what you get back, just okay. like in quantum right. physics. So right. you guys listening, there's four things that are super vital. Gratitude, love, joy, and what's the other one? And compassion. And compassion. So right. I would write those four words somewhere that you can see every day. You can put it on a sticky note or something. I would write those four words and think about those four words and think of how you can experience those feelings or feel those feelings or think those thoughts. So how does somebody do that? Let's say that somebody is undergoing trauma, they're depressed, they don't have these feelings. They don't have any of those four feelings. So how do they start getting into those frequencies? We put them through the program we have for changing how they think about what they think about, which raises the frequency. And we get that, we use the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza. We have a, a big learning module. And what they do basically is they start to understand and believe that the quantum mind, which is huge, infinite, intelligence will love and help you if you get discouraged doubt or over analyze how this might happen you've blocked your way you have to feel it before it happens and you have lost your connection to the future that, that you were on the path to so i tell them to make a surrender statement i forgive my small-minded world arrange the players in my world 
so that doors open for me. And then feel gratitude, love, compassion, and joy. So the whole thing is to have people understand that they are creating it. It's not being done to them. What basically it comes down to is to stop being a victim, to stop being the receiver of everything, but to create it all for yourself. And it happens. I do it all the time. If I have to go from Palm Beach County in Florida all the way down to Miami, and that's, what, 80 miles, and I have to park in a special part place in front of a building where I have to have that parking space because my time is very tight. The whole time I'm going there, I'm visualizing that parking space. And by the time I get there, there's my parking space right where I wanted it. (laughs) So it's a very powerful thing. So once you learn how to manifest, Dr. Jane is saying, you can use it to manifest everything, anything from a parking space to better love, better life, better relationships. To money, to to anything, to partners, to love partners, anybody, anything. And and so that's the first part, the mind part. Then comes the body part. If you're eating garbage, your thinking is garbage. Your brain becomes garbage because the brain is connected to the gut by way of the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is a two-way street. And what is in the brain goes to the gut and and goes back up to the brain. So you have to nourish the gut. And what we use is a fully plant-based, and we drink celery juice every day and lemon water. And celery juice is very, very powerful. It's actually a medicinal herb that surrounds pathogens and everything and kills everything off so that you, and it's the work of, of Anthony William we use he's called the medical medium awesome and then we have the therapeutics part which is to get rid of the trauma if you don't get rid of the trauma if you don't get rid of the past you can't have a future because you can carry the past in the body and that's why people get sick and that's also why when i first interview a patient with terrible trauma from the past of course One person the other day tells me she was in three car accidents. Of course, she attracted the car accidents to herself. Anything Mm -hmm. that happens to you, you attract. So you have to get rid of the trauma. And those three working together is what cures people. And now that I have David's cheek coil, (laughs) oh my God, amazing. Really amazing. So right now we're, we're talking with Dr. Jane Statlander Sloat. Dr. Jane St- Statlander Sloat. So if you search Dr. Jane Statlander, S-T-A-T-L-A-N-D-E-R, you will find her on her website. If you have questions, I see some questions coming in. We're going to have a question and answer at the end. So if you have sure. questions, type it in. We're going to scroll back up and, and get to that. So don't think that we're not seeing your questions. But if you have questions, now's a really good time to just start asking anything related to trauma, relating to everything that you talked about, how to change your, transform your mind, your body, and your thoughts, and how to manifest. your brain. In your brain. Right. So you were saying how, how, so can you explain that a little bit more? What, there's somebody who had car accidents repeatedly, like what, what causes something like that? Trauma, trauma, and a bad e- neglect or abuse. Also, a woman, I just had a woman who was raped when she was little, raped repeatedly by her father. Horrendous things happened to her. They, she was physically ill. She always had one physical problem after the other. And you just, I see, I see we have a question here. Should I answer it? We can probably do that later. All right. And so, it's just you carry your past in the body. So all these traumas and, and things that happen to us, we carry it in our bodies. 
into our, and it's all subconscious, isn't it? The trauma, the it's negative history. It's uh, most of it is buried, is buried in the limbic system of the brain. It's not really conscious, and you don't know why you're doing certain things. But then we also get we have a lot of VA patients who come, and a lot of them have terrible toxicity, actual bodily toxicity from fighting in the Middle East. And we get rid of that toxicity. One one soldier we had, they said he had something, but he didn't. When I he had Tourette's syndrome, he had obsessive compulsive disorders, and he had tics. And he had a terrible social problem because of that, as you can imagine. So I saw that he had no historical trauma that he had very good attachment from at least one caregiver growing up. So I, I thought he must, it must be a physical problem. So he went on to the diet. Within three weeks, he was 50% finished with his, those three things. And within three months, he was totally cured. So... That's great. I don't have a doctor's license. I don't have a medical degree. Sometimes that's better. You've been able to help people with PTSD from various kinds of experiences, people who come back from war, who have these subconscious traumas that manifest themselves as diseases or tics or nervous. Yeah. And what hap- yeah. And what happens is that you see the really terrible results of it when people get married and have children because the marriages have to be are going to be horrific of course they're going to be horrific and they're going to fail and the people seriously the same type of person unless they get rid of the past they will keep repeating it all over and over so we need to get rid of our past and Refresh, get a refresh on our whole mind, body, and spirit. So you've been using the the chi coils, and how do you think chi coils and frequencies can accelerate these processes for people? I know that I actually, the reason I got them is I had vertigo. It was horrible. And I started, I went to an acupuncturist. It didn't help. And then I and then I ordered the chi coil, and within four days it was gone. What happened? We just changed the frequency in my body. That's it. It's as simple as that. Everything is frequency. Everything. Wow. So how long did you have the vertigo for? About two months. Two months. Wow. And then it went away in four days. Four days, and didn't come back. Okay. Fantastic. Nice to hear. It is. It's amazing. So, so how do you think it's, the chi coils are working? You're talking about changing frequencies. Like, how do you think it's happening with that? What's happening? What do you mean? What's happening to a person when they use chi coils that causes these effects? What's happening is that whatever part, when it becomes, when, when we're talking about a physical manifestation of a problem, when you have a physical manifestation, a negative physical manifestation, your body is in some way in dis-ease. So it means that the frequency has gotten messed up for that part of the body and you have to bring it back to health. So that's, it's just changing the frequency. That's simple, right? Just- it is. That's it. So you were using the frequency for vertigo, basically. That's exactly. And I was putting, I put it right through YouTube, through my phone. <laughs> it's great. Fantastic. So now we have some time for some questions as a recap. So this is Dr. Jane statlander Slotes. She is a clinical psychologist and she has multiple degrees and she's helped thousands of people with all sorts of problems in their lives, everything specifically from trauma, to sex problems, depression, any kind of mental health issue. From the worst of the worst, she has seen it all and she has been able to help people with it. So if you know somebody 
or you, you yourself are looking for a way to transform yourself, then take a look at what she's doing and what she is offering to help other, other people. So now we're going to take some questions. So I'm reading some of the chats here. So somebody mentioned about generational trauma. How do you think something like Chi Quill can help with generational trauma? It's the same thing, basically. When there are different kinds of generational trauma. There are generational traumas that are within certain ethnic groups, for example. And there are generational trauma just within a family system. If it's just within a family system, it means that the great grandmother treated the great the grandmother who treated the mother who then treated the daughter exactly the same way. And it's not such a mystery. If you keep the same behaviors going, you're going to produce the same types of illnesses. And the way you stop it, again, is you have to cut yourself. You have to separate yourself from those people with low frequency. It's very, people don't like to hear that. But that's just exactly how it works. If you stay near a family member who has a very low frequency and who in fact perpetrated the trauma on you, what do you think is going to happen? It's just going to keep going. If you say if you're eating something that makes you sick, you eat a rotten apple every day, you're going to get sick every right. day, right? That's you right. You got to stop eating the rotten apple. So That's right. The, the biggest problem with patients is that if they want to change, they have to understand that they have to change. They have to change what they're doing and the way they're thinking about things. Some people think, oh, I'm just going to sit here and I'm going to change. It doesn't work like that. You actually have to do the work. Yeah, you, you got to change whatever you can, right? You can change your behaviors, change your thought patterns, change your association, right. your environment. All those things right. can be right? to change how you think how you think about what you think about you're going to change what you put in your body and then you're going to change your actual brain take the trauma out another question is what about people who have split personality split person yeah you mean multiple personalities probably this is something that silas is asking maybe you can clarify but they, they said that before i forget neuroleptics is not a good he idea says, yes yeah, so multiple personalities. Oh, nothing can be done. Sorry. Okay, that's one thing that we can't really do much with. What, why does that happen? It happens, I've had, I, I don't treat people with serious personality disorders, but how do, how do multiple personalities happen? For example, if a girl is raped every night by her father, she's a little girl, she has to, she can't escape, so she has to go somewhere while that's happening. So she creates a personality to help her, like a friend personality, and then another personality to, to whatever. And for each of her emotional needs, she'll create a personality. And that's just how it is, and you just, and the interesting thing, interesting, it's not nice to say interesting, is that the one who, for example, is the good friend, if the good friend can have low blood pressure, but the other personalities don't. That's weird. So it's crazy. So it's like a total thing that just takes you over and becomes your body too. Okay. I have, a, I have an answer to that. If you have split personality, use cheat codes for all the personalities and they will all improve. <laughs> yeah, we, we can try it. There's always a first time. <laughs> yeah. right? You buy one cheat code, you can treat all the personalities at the same time. <laughs> yeah, for the price of one. <laughs> yeah, next question. Pretty basic. How do we get rid of trauma? The way I just described, you have to change how you think about what you think about then you have to change what goes in your body and then you have to treat the traumatic effects as they are in the brain. 
Okay. And we mm -hmm. also do visualizations of the brain in of where the trauma is. We do that as well. And we pull, pull it out. We suck it out. We vacuum it out. Okay. What's something you, you can, what's, what's something that somebody can do like today, right now, when they, after they watch this show, let's say they want to get rid of trauma. What's one thing that you would, you could teach them or tell them to do that would help? What I just said, but it's extremely complicated and you can't do it on yourself. Okay. I, you just, it's, I, it takes about six months for me to take a person through everything and you got to stay with the person you not stay, but you have to be at their side, so to speak, because you can, a person can't do it themselves. Okay. Unfortunately. All right. So get some help if you need. Or we could try with the cheek coil because I am going to use the cheek coil for my trauma people, actually. We're going we're gonna to find out then if they can just do it by themselves with cheek coil. <laughs> okay, uh, next is I have terrible chronic migraines. Do uh, mm -hmm. you have any advice for that? Yeah, you heavy metals. There are five groups of things that affect the liver. The liver is the most important or organ. If the liver is compromised, your immune system is compromised. And the liver's job is to filter out things that shouldn't be in the body. There are five groups of things, pathogens, parasites, heavy metals, environmental toxins, and fats. So I would bet that this person's diet is not, that their liver is not doing what it's supposed to do. And then I would put that person on this regimen and to help. Okay, so yeah, it has to do with diet. I got a question here on TikTok. How can we find frequencies to heal anything? And can one purchase a frequency device to self-heal? I'm going to answer that. Yeah, so we don't uh, claim that chi coils or frequencies can heal. We, they're not medical devices, but yes, you can find those frequencies on our website and you can get our chi coils, which is a device for total wellness of the mind, body, and spirit. So we have it. It's called chi coil, Q-I-C-O-I-L. Just look it up. You can click the link on my profile and it'll take you there. All right. Next question is, uh, how do you remove past trauma? I think that's just a repeat of a previous question. Would you like to talk a little bit about mental institutions? What do you want to know about mental institutions? Me, that's the question. No, I'm asking Silas. Uh, oh. I got another question here. How long each day was Jane using the chi coil to cure herself? Not more than an hour. Okay, so less than an hour a day. Am I supposed to use chi tones device with my chi coil? Yes, you can. So you can use chi tones together with chi coils. So you get sound and magnetic energy at the same time. We got another question. What's the best thing that a person can do if a significant other criticizes the use of frequencies. Change your partner. <laughs> She's the wrong frequency, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Why would anybody object to that? I don't understand. I know. Like, why would somebody prevent you from improving yourself? Maybe they don't want to improve themselves or they don't want you to improve or something like that. I don't know. But either change your partner's frequency or Get a different partner <laughs> or both <laughs> or both yeah pretty straightforward <laughs> some more questions keep them coming guys keep those questions coming in oh he is the wrong frequency he's afraid i believe so the person yeah could be scared of change possibly i think people are often going through hell in their drugs and being forced on them etc i don't know maybe Salah just wants your opinion on that using too much I'm medications on on people in men mental institutions in mental institutions, I personally think that it's abuse. They just drug people up. That's all. Okay. Hey, so glad to see you have. That's great. Thank you for the comments. You need a frequency to try something. What are you wanting to try? Hey, David, it's been a while. We messaged a few years ago. I am you in a 33-year-old. Okay. Monster Jew's body. You have something you want to ask? Maybe you're still here. Jake Wags. I just saw a question about dementia. Any suggestions for possible early dementia? Dementia. Sure. Dementia is, is the Epstein-Barr virus that's in the brain. 
that is eating the heavy metals, specifically mercury and aluminum, and he eats holes through the brain, and that's Alzheimer's. And when it and when the the Epstein Barr virus or when the heavy metals go to the bones, it becomes osteoporosis. Tell us more about these heavy metals and what, what they do and how dangerous they are and how to get rid of them. Heavy metals are very there. They have. They were drowning in heavy metals. People don't realize it. It's in the water. Everything that's in the water, it's in, on the earth. It's in the sky. And people think that eating fish is healthy or healthier, but it's not because fish have loads of heavy metals, loads of to general toxins, loads of pathogens, parasites, it's just not healthy. Yeah, I stopped eating fish a long time ago because uh, whenever I eat fish, I my gut bleeds like instantly. Oh my god! So listen to your body, guys, because for many years I thought, oh, it's normal. I'm supposed to have a stomachache after I eat, but then I realized, no, there's something <laughs> not. That's right. Something not normal here. Maybe I should change my diet and ever change my child. I said, wow, why was I torturing myself all these years? That's I thought right. all this stuff was healthy for me, but it's actually killing me. So don't listen to what advertising tells you. Fish is not good for you. Milk is not good for you. A lot of other stuff is not good for you. People will probably ask, well, what do you eat then, right? I personally, I eat rice. I eat beef, chicken, pork, right? I don't eat fish. Yeah, so people, yeah, so that's my diet. Some people may have different choices of what diet what works with their body, but that works best for me. How about an autistic person? What kind of tips do you have for autism or ASD? First of all, ASD is caused by heavy metals, mostly mercury, in the brain, in the developing fetus. And what happens is that the heavy metals, mostly mercury and aluminum, go to the separation between the right and left hemispheres, and it just sits in there and causes all kinds of, of static, all kinds of electrical mess ups noise yeah and it can be avoided because the mother passes it on to the child to the developing fetus are there ways to detox all these heavy metals yeah absolutely the regimen that i give my patients does that every day they do it you got a question what suggestions do you have for people with alzheimer's LLA? the diet is amazing yeah so if you want to learn more about the diet you can go to dr jane's website if you search Dr. Jane Statlander, you'll find her. And she, you can learn about the, the functional nutrition diet that she's talking about. Will boiling the water help? Allison is asking. Boiling the water, all you're doing is you're killing off some pathogens, but basically you have everything else in there. You have all the toxicity, you have the heavy metals that you don't boil out. You have all kinds of environmental toxins in there. So it doesn't help. You need to have a good water supply. Good water supply is, for example, ver reverse osmosis is very good for taking out mo almost all those five groups, the pathogens, heavy metals, parasites, fats. About ozone water? What, do you know what that is? Ozone water, ozone is something that actually I clean my apartment with. I have these UV lighters, lizers, which put it out ozone. So ozone is good for cleaning, but ozone water, I don't know. I don't really, I never heard of a use for ozone water. Sarah is asking, are there people more sensitive to frequencies than others? No, because we're all electrical. We're electric. Everybody has their own frequency. It can be high. It can be low. One second. What happened here? Okay. Okay. I think what she's asking is some people more sensitive than others. So, yeah, I, from our experience, some people are more sensitive to frequencies than others. But everybody is sensitive to it. Just some are more sensitive and would respond to it more than other people. That's what we found. What about people with schizophrenia? That's heavy metals. Yeah. 
just like bipolar one and two is heavy metals. Great. So by the way, guys, we actually have detox frequencies for chi coils for heavy metals. If you didn't know, I haven't mentioned. A lot of people ask about whether they, we have frequencies for such and such. If you want to check it out, we have a website, members.chico.com. You can actually search thousands of different frequencies. You can search heavy metals and you're probably going to find a lot of frequencies right there. They exist. We have them and you can use them with chico oils for detox. So Dr. Jane is going to be experimenting, doing some clinical trials with our chico oils because they've been working amazing for herself. So now she wants to have her clients. So just imagine what's going to happen when she combines her own, her, her nutrition, her therapeutics, along with the chicos. I wonder how much faster or how much more powerful her, her therapy is going to become. What is the best way to get rid of heavy metals? I think we just talked about it. So she, Dr. Jane has her own uh, regimen. It's her own like process of getting rid of them with her nutrition, no guides and her diet guide. I recommend using the chi coil. So if you combine those two things, I think that's a slam dunk. Any sale in April, any sale in April, we always have uh, some kind of sale going on. So just take a look at the website. By the way, if you guys didn't know, we are doing pre-orders right now on our chi coil nano, which is brand new. It's only $179. That's the lowest price we ever had for a chi coil. So just think about all the benefits. We have 10,000 different programs that you can use it for. So literally there's 10,000 different things that you can use it for. And it's only $179 and you can use it for your whole life as long as it keep using it. And you can use it as much as you want. So this is incredible. If you really want to transform yourself now, the money issue is not important anymore because it's only $179. You can even make payments and make $30 a month or $50 a month and you can get it. So David, you can connect it to an amplifier, right? To any size amplifier? It comes with it. It already has. Oh. Yeah. So the Chico systems come with a, what we call mobile power kit. And these ones can work with the Chico 3, the Chico Mini, and the Chico Nano. It's the same power kit. Now, the Nano is going to be smaller range. It's only 1.5 feet, so you can use it on your body directly. And then the Mini will, is a little bit bigger, so that's 3 feet. And then the, the, the Chico 3 is 10 feet, so you don't... Something you can just put it on the desk and you don't need to really make contact with. But what the nanos are really great is they're so small you can wear them. They're great for pets, dogs and cats. We're going to start a new campaign for pets and animals. Horse, if you have a larger animal, then you would need something bigger like a Chico Max or something. But they're great for your pets, for your plants, for your water. You can actually energize your water with frequencies. You can energize your food. So before you eat all your food, you can just put it in your fridge, put this in your fridge or put this near your water supply and just have it run. And, and you're going to be energizing and changing the frequency of whatever you eat to add that extra level of energy for you. Which one is 179? The smallest one, the purple one is $179. All right, says, I have the Chico Max, but I think the Nano would be really good for ease of portability. Definitely, yeah. So if you have the Max, then you have one of the more powerful ones. That's great. If you spend a lot on yours, it's a good thing because you get a more powerful system. Okay, the Nano is really small and it's, I wouldn't say, you wouldn't say the weakest is still very powerful, but it is the weakest of all of the Chico's because it's the smallest one. So it's, it's only 50% of the power of the Chico Mini and the Mini is only like 30% free. So if you buy something more expensive, you're getting what you pay for, you get more power. But now there's a smaller one and it is at a really good price. Any more questions? Do you know when the Nano ship it should ship? Sometime, I would say late April, okay? I know it says April, so sometime in April, we should be, should be shipping. And we do have limited supply for that, so make sure you order that. Can you use the Nano with any of the frequencies? Yes, you can. Any of the Chi calls, you can use any frequencies. What about chlorella? Is that, what about chlorella? What, what's the question about chlorella? Cholera? Oh, cholera. Chlorella? Cholera? I don't know how you spell properly here. Cholera? Yeah. You'll charge your card whenever you order it. So if you order it today, it'll charge your card today. But then it's on pre-order. It'll ship in April. Okay, Dr. Jane, do you have any more? What else? What other like tips or advice that you can you give our audience today? You just really have to get rid of a really bad past. 
because it just follows you all through your life. And you can't, there's no shortcut. And you can't say, I forgave them. Your, your brain didn't forgive them. It's still in your brain. You have to get rid of it or physical illness follows you. Yeah, I want to yeah. share my personal story. I'm not sure, Dr. Jane, if you probably do. But so I was sick for 10 years and I had ulcerative uh, colitis, which is a gut issue. So I'm bleeding internally every day. I had that for 10 years. And it started because I went under a severe amount of stress when my business partner or my mentor at the time stole almost $300,000 from me when I was younger. So I was completely devastated because this was somebody who I trusted with everything. I looked up to him and then followed him around. And he was like a father figure, but ended up to be a professional con person. So you can imagine the trauma emotionally with my confidence as well. So my, I couldn't handle it. I couldn't really handle it mentally. So that started to manifest as a disease. And then I started going to depression and all these things, negative things happened to me. And then after that, it, it felt like I always attracted more and more people that are scammers. <laughs> yeah, it was you. It was your fault, <laughs> actually. So I was attracting the wrong people. So I said, I can't continue in, in like this. I was so sick. I had no energy. I was so depressed. I, had, I was completely broke. And I said, I got to change something. I don't know what it is. So I started to change my uh, meditation. So I started meditation, started using frequencies to meditate. That started to open up my mind and release a lot of the negative trauma. That's what it happened. It released a lot of trauma. It helped me to overcome the, the self, I guess the self, well, what would it be? The lack of confidence or kind of guilt of having to, of making those mistakes or the feeling that I needed someone to help me. That's why I kept on searching for other people to guide me and mentor me when it, whereas I said, Hey, I, I know how to do this. I can do it myself and being more self-reliant, being more confident in myself. And that was a tr turning point because after that, I started to use coils and experiment with frequencies, which healed myself from this disease that I had for 10 years. And it was a complete transformation. Just, just the same way that you described, right? All the, once the, all the trauma goes away, then you have a clean slate to manifest anything you want. That's all we want in life, right? We want to be able to manifest anything we want. But first you need to get rid of all the junk that's holding you right. back. You got to get rid of all that that's right. trauma, all those negative emotions, those subconscious thoughts and patterns and behaviors and, and frequencies that have kept us stuck in where we are for, the, for decades or, or even longer, right? So if you're asking like, how come my life isn't changed? How come my life is the same or worse? this year, the last year, and it's been the same in the last decade or 20 or 30 years, it's because you still haven't changed your frequency yet. You're still stuck in the same frequency because of what you eat, because of your associations, your friends, your family, because of what you listen to, what you watch, because of what happened to you in the past. And because of how you think about what you're thinking about. And the way you think about it, exactly, that's a key too. Are you thinking about all those things that happened to you in a way, in a victim? mindset oh exactly or are you thinking about is okay it's something i can learn from what's next how can i move forward how can i change this exactly. what do i do what do i do how do i do it to get out of this situation how to improve myself that's why you need to ask yourself instead of asking yourself why which just gets you back into this cycle ask yourself questions like what or how because those are specific questions right. that lead to solutions right so that's something that I started to do. And that's how I was able to transform my life. Now, obviously you can see I'm very healthy. I don't have any disease whatsoever. I'm very strong. I'm 43. I look like I'm 20 something. I train four, four days a week boxing competitively. And you can see my skin is perfect. Almost <laughs> my teeth are perfect. My hair is still in my head and things are looking good, better every day. And I'm saying, and then I'm very quite successful in this world of wellness. And people say I'm famous, right? Dr. Chin say I'm, said I'm famous. So, <laughs> that was half a joke. <laughs> Semi-famous. Semi-famous. So, so <laughs> hopefully my story will motivate you and inspire you to change your frequency too. Because it's so simple. If, you go, if I go back and think about it, 
It's so simple. You just need to change your frequency. It's easier than you think because we, now we have technology to do it. We don't have to put so much effort. Technology can help you do it almost automatically because you just you can use the cheek coil, help it detox your mind, body, and spirit, and then give you a clean slate so you can start to build and manifest the life that you want. All right? So thanks for coming. Can you show us the frequency device? Go to chilifestore.com. Here's, here's what I have here. I use every day is my Chi Coil 3 system. Okay, it comes with a tablet with the frequencies. It comes with the coils. It comes with the power kits. And it comes with lots of training materials and courses as well. So you connect it to the power kit, connect it to the tablet. And then you put these, I put these on the floor when I'm using my red light panels and working. I'm just sitting on the floor and put these next to me. Or I put it when I'm on my desk, I sit and just put it on my desk in front of me. Or sometimes I put it just here while I'm working on my computer. And I use them for about 30 minutes to an hour a day. Some people, they leave them on all day. So some clinics or some homes, they want something that covers the whole house. You want to benefit everybody in the house and start changing your partner's frequency and then get the coil that can cover your whole house. So as long as they're in the house, their frequency is going to be changed. <laughs> is that amazing? Is that, what, is that what that is, David? It's called Chi Coil. So it covers 3,000 square feet. Wow. Yeah. So now you can put it in a, you can even put it in a, in, in a therapeutic center. We actually, we have clinics like chiropractors, we have spas, meditation centers that have these, and then they use them for meditation, but you can use it for even elderly homes. That's great. You can support everybody with just one coil. So this technology is where the future is going to be. Can you explain more about the attraction via frequencies? Like I said, you can manifest anything if you have the frequency for it. That's basically what we're saying, right? So if you want to attract something, then you just need to change your frequency so that you can attract that thing. And the easiest thing to change your frequency is use something like a chi coil that actually gives you the frequency. So it's giving you the frequency of attracting what you want. We have a soulmate attraction frequency. We have money attraction frequencies. We have abundance attraction frequencies. We have all those frequencies, so you just need to play them through the coil and just put them in front of you. That's all you need to do. And then it's going to slowly do two things. Number one is going to get rid of the trauma that's been keeping you back. And number two, it's going to start tuning you into the path where you can most quickly uh, attract and manifest what you want. What do you think, Jane? Yeah, it's absolutely right. Yeah, and drink lots of water. Drink lots of water because when you use the coils, by the way, you get thirsty. But good water. Yeah. This, Clean uh, water. Filtered water and then I energize it with my coils. You're, I'm trying to use your product to attract, get BPC-157 frequency, 157 months now. Yeah, I use BPC-157 frequency. I've gained a lot of muscle. Not a lot, but I've gained, a lot, I've gained probably 10 pounds of pure muscle since I've been using that frequency. So if you use it for, you know, athletic, for working out, that's great for that. Can you do, can you get muscle without even working out by using the frequency? Maybe uh, you can. I don't know. I don't know. I'm always working out. So I don't know. But what it does is it, it gives you more energy so that you, and then it gives you more motivation. So you work out more. I don't know if it could give you more muscle if you don't work out and just listen to frequency. I don't know. It's, it's like. It, it's basically PPC 557. It's, it's a, an amino acid. So if you actually take more amino acid without working out, would it give you more muscle? Oh, I thought you were talking about a frequency. It is a frequency based on the amino acid. So oh, when, right. Yeah. So when you listen to frequencies as if you're taking that amino acid. Yeah. I also know that you can, that there are people who imagize and watch people playing the piano and they imagize it as if they're doing it. And then they sit down and they play the piano. So, yeah, it's possible. It's possible to gain muscle with the frequency without exercising. But see, when I say that, I don't want people to be lazy. <laughs> and because I don't know, I'm athletic, right? So I don't want to promise people, oh, you're just going to sit and do nothing and you're going to improve yourself, right? As there's always that. There's people who like take supplements and uh, workout supplements and they think that they're going to gain lots of muscle without going to the gym and what ends up happening is they just get fat because they had too much calories yeah <laughs> so, right so i would say if you use the frequency will you get more athletic 
yes, I would say that because it gives you more motivation to work out. So the likelihood of you working out will be more. And when you do exercise, you recover faster so that you can work out more without being tired. Because one of the reasons why people don't work out is number one, motivation. Number two is they're too tired. Right. So if you, get, if you fix those two problems, if you're not tired and you're not motivated, then naturally you're going to exercise and be more active. You just go for a walk or walk your dog or whatever, right? So Yeah, just, just to add one thing, if we have a little time, I tell my patients that there are two ways to cure in the quantum model. One is with light, which is red light therapy. Mm -hmm. And my patients also use red light therapy, which yeah. is very yeah. good for recovering from anything and yeah. growing the telomeres longer and everything. I use them every day. I use our own. We have red light panels. Did you know that? We have them. Chi light. They're called chi light. Yeah. So if you go oh. to store, it's hidden because it's, it's underneath the additional technologies if you go to the additional technologies red light panels there oh all right okay thank you so much dr jane it was really wonderful to have you and i look forward to the clinical trials we're going to start with your clients and can't wait to see the results and thank you so much for reaching out and it's been a pleasure thank you very much david yeah if you guys want to learn more from dr jane statlander just go search her name her website is mindbodytherapeutics.life mindbodytherapeutics.life if you want to learn more from her. Okay, and until next time, change your frequency, change your destiny.